What's going on, SwagTube? It's KMasterK here. If you don't know what today is, it's the day before Storm Area 51. Since I found out about this two months ago, I have essentially been preparing. Within 12 hours, I believe it was, I had already booked a ticket and was on the phone with friends from high school that have already moved down there. In today's video, I wanna talk about three things. It's gonna be a very quick one. I gotta leave in half an hour to head to Toronto to get on my flight. But I'm gonna talk about the training that I've been through, what I plan on wearing tomorrow when I'm down there, and lastly, I'll talk about my accommodations and the, just the logistics and what my plan is uh, when storming the Area 51. Okay guys, so to further unpack my training, uh, it has consisted of both weightlifting as well as explosive interval training. Uh, my cardio is average. When I heard about this, I was in the middle of a cut. So I've put on a decent amount of weight in the last couple months, as I thought this would be beneficial. Uh, in terms of the lifting, bench, deadlift, squats, a tail as old as time. I don't really need to break that down too hardcore. And then some accessory lifts to accompany. Um, I'll maybe get a brief shot. I'm not going to do too any uh, hardcore tonight. It's the day before. I, I didn't train yesterday either. It's been a couple days, carb loading. It's all standard stuff. I'm not saying anything revolutionary here. So um, perhaps we'll get uh, a cut and then I'll run through. It's been a lot of circuit based training. So I'll run you through an example of a circuit kind of at half, three quarter speed, uh, just so you can get an idea of what actually went into this. And that was pretty close to two months of going on a slight bulk try to put because uh, like I said I was on the cut a slight bulk and really focusing on the uh, explosive running aspect of it so I'll show you some of those clips right now live time what was my time okay the next thing I wanted to speak about was what I will be wearing uh, as I mentioned previously two things I'm gonna be talking about the under protective if you will attire and then the overshirts protection it was within the first week after uh, those friends I mentioned from high school we did a, a little bulk order if you will of a uh, six to eight vests. These are bulletproof vests. I do know that the armor piercing rounds will still hurt like hell, but it's not gonna penetrate. It'll have to be a headshot or multiple shots to the legs to take me down. Uh, as well as combat boots. I'll also be wearing a mid-cut combat boot just below the calf muscle. So that's my under attire. Over on top, we're almost going with the zebra illusion. We have matching t-shirts, if you can believe it. I've been talking to other uh, social media influencers and actually a couple of the heads of the Storm Area 51 group. Matching t-shirts, because the plan is to be a pack at the start. Therefore, there'll be uh, less opportunity for the guards to get direct shots. And we'll almost blend in as one. And then as we flare out, then it's free for all. But I think those shirts could give that extra edge and it's more professional in my opinion to have matching garments. Uh, but the big thing is that protective armor I think will uh, lead to my ultimate success individually. Okay, I have my phone here uh, just to cue me up on these last couple points. So like I mentioned, flying out very shortly and I'm in Ontario so I'm gonna actually make three hours back on the flight which will allow me to be there on time at all that was a consideration it's gonna be very tight timelines I'll probably crash on the plane ride and then I'm getting picked up from my buddies at the airport and we're going straight to Rachel uh, which is a city north of the strip so hopefully we can get out of the heavy traffic anyway and uh, and get up to where we're gonna congregate prior 
in the actual Area 51. I have done my homework on that as well. I'll put the picture up on screen. The Homey Airport, specifically Groom Lake. I'm going to, uh, once I get in and get a chance, my mentality will be to go to the Groom Lake. Um, I know a lot of the experiments would obviously go on inside the buildings of the facilities. Who's fair to say that there's not something going on in the water? Experiments, who knows? And with no solid uh, bird's eye imagery, there's no one that can say for sure. Uh, so that hopefully gives you an idea of location wise and the planning of what I'm gonna do once I'm in there. Okay guys, I just had water, I was relaxing, got the call, cabs are here, so it is go time. I'm going to Toronto Airport right now and I'm going to bring my netbook so I can edit this video uh, during the flight. Again, this is just meant to be a very, very quick video. There's going to be more vlog, GoPro head cam footage, all of the above, which will follow. But I just want to get the video real quick before I go and uh, this could be the last one for me. So hope you guys enjoy. Please subscribe and uh, look forward to some more Area 51 content in the coming week or two. Thanks guys, see ya.